nasty. Little bits of rusted metal sticking out of your tire wall and you need to get rid of them. So, first job is to have a go with needle nose pliers or the needle nose vice grips. Eh, these things are fantastic, but you need to be able to grab onto something. There is a little bit of a screw there, so we'll see how we go. Oh, it's very rusted. Just turn it gently. That's no, not going to work. It's almost crushed it. So I'm just going to drill in on the sides. I've got the hammer feature off because I'm drilling into tiles and I always find that that percussion is no good for your tiles. It chips them. Three millimeter masonry bit is about the smallest you're going to be able to get. Gently as she goes. Basically what I am doing is just drilling the plug out from around the screw. That makes the screw go loose and fall out of the hole. I think we're close. Long nose pliers, now it's really loose. Ha ha! The winner! You could just put plugs back in there and a new soap dish holder, or you can go for a stick-on option. Pretty good for renters. Give it a good rub down, make sure you get any grime off the tiles. Grab the soap dish, sticky back. Sticky tape's are pretty good these days. The harder you press, the better the stick you'll get. And then there's one last little insurance policy to make sure the sticky tape lasts as long as possible. Just do the tiniest bit of silicon around the side and that top edge. And that is just going to shed water for you. The less water that hits the tape, the longer it is going to last. Then to smooth it off, you might not have soapy water handy, so you can just, <coughs> excuse me, spit on it. Super lubricant. There we go. A little bit disgusting, but very effective. I think it might be time for a shower. Oh, yes. That is glorious. It looks good too. Pass the soap. Now, if you like what you've seen, thumbs up. If not, thumbs down. And subscribe to get free DIY fun and tips for maintenance at your place.